friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday, so it's weigh-in day. We're gonna talk about my week, my weigh-in, and she was interesting, as well as the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I've lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to talk with me directly and to ask your questions. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my free Facebook group, come join us, we'd love to have you. So let's chat about my week, my interesting weigh-in, and this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a pretty darn good week. I'm gearing up for my trip to Hawaii. I actually leave in one week from today. I can't even believe it. I remember posting on my Instagram the countdown for six months to Hawaii, and now it's one week away. I definitely need this little girl's trip, this little vacation. I love Hawaii. Taking this trip last year was one of the most amazing, beautiful trips I've ever been on. So I'm very much looking forward to spending some time with my friend Rachel and my friend Kelly. And again, just having that little girl's trip to Hawaii. So of course I'm going to be packing my protein shakes to make my protein coffee every morning. I'm going to be packing protein filled, healthy snacks. We already discussed going to the grocery store and buying all of our breakfast food so that we can create breakfast in the hotel. We did this last year when I went to Hawaii because we're already there in the morning. We might as well eat breakfast there and make sure we're starting our day off with a healthy protein packed breakfast. So we have plans in place for the trip. And if you remember last year when I went to Hawaii, I actually came home and lost almost two pounds. My goal this year is to maintain my weight. I'm going to focus on eating at maintenance calories, getting in my protein, moving my body. We are going to work out. We are going to try to go to a water aerobics class. We're actually taking a hike. We're kayaking. We're snorkeling. I'm always really active on vacation. So my goal on this one is to maintain my weight. I've been really busy pre-filming, getting ready to go for this trip. I also have a really fun collab coming up. I'm not going to spill the tea on the collab yet. You guys are going to be super excited though. That is coming mid-October, so I've been prepping and preparing for that. I've been getting in my workouts boot camp. I actually hiked to Mamak Mountain this last Sunday for something a little bit different. Again, working on that endurance. I'm also gearing up for my Tucson meetup, which is right after I get back from Hawaii. It's just been busy. And sometimes when we're busy, it's hard to focus on our weight loss goals, right? And our health goals. It's hard to put ourselves a priority when we have all these things over here demanding our attention. But I've been very mindful these I've been being very mindful this last week and leading up to my trip to still make my workouts and my self-care a priority. So I feel honestly really good about my week. One thing I did want to share is that on Monday, September 25th, was the six month anniversary of Diesel My Labs passing. So that day was a little bit rough for me. I spent a lot of time reminiscing and remembering all the funny things Diesel did. And then I spent a lot of time crying and missing him as well. I did make a post in my Instagram story remembering diesel. It's just crazy to think it's been six months because it's still so raw and fresh in my mind, but it has been a solid six months since we lost him. And there isn't a day that goes by that we don't think about him and miss him. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I know that he was such a special part of your life as well. Okay, let's talk about happy things. Let's talk about happy things. Let's talk about the Weight Watchers workshop topic before we jump into this week's weigh-in. And this topic is a good one. And this is how saying no can actually benefit your weight loss journey. Another slice of pizza, the keep watching button on Netflix, a last minute happy hour. Sometimes saying no is a good thing when it comes to weight loss. The next time you politely decline or say no to something, think about what you're actually saying yes to. Try this, list all your reasons to say no. These are actually your yeses. Be specific. If you turn down more pizza, is it to stay within your points budget? To avoid feeling overly stuffed? No reason is too big or small. Ask yourself what you might gain by saying yes to these things. Consider the ripple effect. 
you'll keep your in budget streak going. Have energy for a walk later instead of feeling full and sleepy and feeling proud and in control. Connect your gains to what's important to you or to your why. The connection may be obvious, but if not, create a link. If you skip an after work event, use the time to do what is clearly important, like walking with a friend. The fact is it's never easy to say no. And really we don't want to say no just because we're on a weight loss journey. There is a delicate balance between saying no and doing things that bring us joy. Oftentimes we suffer from FOMO, the feeling of missing out, and we dwell on the fact that we can't do this or we can't do that or we can't have more pizza or go to happy hour. But in reality, we're saying yes to our weight loss goals. We're saying yes to our health. We're saying yes to maybe taking a walk instead of having another Netflix show. So focus on JOMO, the joy of missing out, instead of FOMO, the fear of missing out. The whole point of this isn't to say no to things, right? Like I said, we want to still enjoy life. We want to go to parties. We want to have pizza. We want to watch Netflix, but we want to do it in a balanced way where sometimes when we say no to something, we're actually saying yes to reaching our goals. And that is really, really important. Not to dwell on the fact that sometimes you say no, but really focus on the fact that by saying no, you're often saying yes to reaching your goals. I want to share with you three fast facts from Weight Watchers. You often need to adjust your priorities when working towards a new goal. When you say no, the natural tendency is to focus on what you're giving up or missing out on. Focusing instead on what you gain by saying no can help you feel more inspired and committed. Like I said, we don't want to say no all the time, but we want to say no when it doesn't benefit our weight loss journey. And again, by saying no, we're saying yes to reaching our goals. When we take that negative no and spin it to a positive yes, it's much easier to say no when needed. But of course, we want to enjoy our life as well. It's all about providing a delicate balance. I really like this topic. I think it's important to not focus on the negative, but focus on the positive as much as possible in your weight loss journey. I promise it makes it so much easier. Speaking of weight loss journey, let's talk about my weigh-in. And like I said, she was an interesting one. So I've actually mentioned here a few times on my channel how I track my monthly cycle in the Flow app, the FLO app. It is a free app. I track my cycle just so I kind of know what my body's doing. What hormonal changes am I going through? When I see those weight fluctuations on the scale, what is it caused by? Because I do fluctuate daily on the scale. I'm a daily wearer. I weigh myself every morning. So I kind of get to see those fluctuations, which actually works really well for me. I understand that they're just fluctuations. And you know, I don't put any investment in the scale whatsoever, but this week my fluctuations were a little bit more than normal. I'm officially less than one week out from my cycle. And this is when I typically see a lot of fluctuations, usually like this. So in the beginning of the week, towards the middle of the week, every morning when I weighed myself, my weight was up just a little bit. Now, logically, I know I didn't gain fat. I wasn't in a calorie surplus, so I knew that it was just a hormonal weight fluctuation, which is really, 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 really important to understand is that weight fluctuation is normal, especially as women, hormonal weight fluctuation. And this is the time leading up to my cycle that my weight typically goes up. And then as I move closer and closer to my cycle, that is when I'm at my leanest. And that's when my weight just kind of plummets. And then it always just goes back up and stabilizes out. And I know this about my body, so I don't let those fluctuations affect me. But this thing was just interesting because it was a steady incline on the scale every single day this week. Now there were a couple of mornings where I was the same weight as I was the day before, but for the most part, truly the scale went up every single morning. And guess what? I didn't let it bother me. I didn't let it affect me whatsoever. I kept doing my normal things. I ate my dessert just like normal. I worked out like normal. I structured my day like normal. I ate my protein, stayed in my calories, did all my normal things, not letting the scale affect me negatively or positively. And this is really, really important to learn as you lose weight, to not let the scale give you a good, dictate your mood whatsoever. And with that scale trending up the entire week and me stepping on the scale this morning and being up 0.8, I'm not even concerned about it whatsoever. I'm up 0.8 on the scale. It's hormonal fluctuation. I can pretty much guarantee you by the time you talk to me next Friday, the day I head out to Hawaii, that 0.8 will be gone. It doesn't affect me at all. It doesn't dictate my day. It doesn't dictate my mood. It doesn't make me happy. It doesn't make me sad. It doesn't make me mad. It does nothing. It does nothing but make me more aware that weight fluctuation is totally normal. I feel like I talk about this a lot. A lot of you have said that you would like a video on weight fluctuation and how I deal with that. So I will add that to the list of videos. Let me know too down below if there's any other videos you would like to see me create that would help you with your weight loss journey. Honestly, that's why I'm here. 
That's why I'm a weight loss and nutrition coach. That's why I put myself out on the internet is not only for accountability for myself, but to help you reach your goals. So let me know any video ideas you have down below. So I am officially at point eight this week. I'm not mad about it, not worried about it at all. I'm just gonna keep plugging along, doing what I'm doing, and we'll see if my prediction is right come next week's weigh-in. So now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? What do you say no to that you're actually saying yes to? And of course, again, leave those video ideas down below for me. Next week, I'll talk a little bit about my content as I'm gone in Hawaii. I'm hoping to pre-film quite a bit so my content pretty much stays the same. There will be a weigh-in next Friday, the day that I head out to Hawaii, and then there will not not be a Wayne while I'm in Hawaii because I'm in Hawaii, but there will be regular content. So stay tuned for updates on that. And if you enjoyed today's video, I'll give it a big huge thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on and check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, we'd love to have you join my Facebook group. I will be posting a lot in there during my trip to Hawaii. I am not filming or vlogging my trip. So the only way for you to keep up with me would be to join my Facebook group or follow me over on Instagram or better yet both. I do post pretty regularly on Instagram. So come on over, follow me there. Thank you so much for watching friends. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. And I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.